Hey, welcome everyone, here is Ika Gensenin again. Welcome to this beginner's guide, chapter number three. Today, we are going to see how you can increase the level of your bank, your restaurant, your Hokage's office, your monument, and your chapel. All of that will help you to increase the power of your ninjas because you need a lot of chakra to awaken your ninjas, to evolve and synthesize ninja cards. I will talk about that later in another videos. But yeah, this is one of the things that you need to know when you are starting the game because it will save you a lot of problems and it will help you to, to understand better how the, how the game works. Alright, so this is a max up village, so I hope you this is useful. Let's begin with it. <laughs> Okay, so here we have a newbie village and for example, if we come here where is the ninjas and we try to awaken Naruto to the level 3, we the game will let us to do that because we don't have enough chakra. Even when I, for example, here I have uh, the max amount of chakra that I can get uh, at this moment. So what you need to do is to increase the level of your establishment, okay? The shrine is the establishment that will store your chakra. So uh, right now it's level 1 and as you can see I cannot uh, level up to level 2 because I need to have the base at level 2. It will be the same for the bank, okay? So I cannot level up the bank until I have uh, my base at level 2. So what you need to do is to come here to the base. Uh, in the base uh, above here you will see mission log. If you click on it, you will see defense lock and attack lock. Here you will be able to see the times where your fortress was under attack and you will be able to replay that mission and to see how, how was the, the, the mission. It will be the same for your attack lock. But what you need to do here is to level up to, to level 2, okay? And I will recommend you to waste your Rios, that is the money inside the game, because if you spend Shinobites, uh, it will not be a good idea. I will recommend you to save your Shinobites only for do only for to do summons to have ninja cards. Okay, so I will level up my base to level two, and okay, that's it. Right now is level two my base. Okay, so right now I will be able to level up my shrine. Okay, expand establishment. Now I have the option unlock, and I you need to wait uh, 14 seconds. It will be the same for the bank. So, so it's a little, it's just a ridiculous amount of time. It's little small. Some time ago you need to wait like one hour, 30 minutes. But right now the game has erased all of that time. Uh, and just give you some seconds to wait to level up your establishment, which I think is a really good thing. It will save you time, and it doesn't make sense to to wait all that time. Okay, so for example, here the monument and the restaurant will be the establishment that will give you chakra and money. So again, here in the shrine, in order to level up to level three, you need to have your base at level three. So I will increase the level of my base. The base is the main establishment because if you have your base at higher levels, you will be able to, to level up all, your, all the other establishments. It's like a chain reaction, okay? So, <laughs> okay, right now we come here to the shrine and we level up. And the same for the bank. Why I'm doing this first with the bank and the shrine? Well, that's because in order to have more chakra and more money, you need a place that is able to store all that amount of chakra and money. So, the monument is the main uh, establishment that will give you chakra over time, and the restaurants will give you money over time, okay? So, yeah, the monument and the restaurants they will give you they will be producing chakra all the time and it depends on the level of your establishment the amount of chakra and uh, rios that you get but 
it could happen that you produce more chakra and more money that you are able to store so for that reason I always recommend you to have your bank and your shrine at higher levels so okay let's level up our base okay so since we are doing this and uh, here in the restaurant it's uh, and the monument are really important establishments okay you need to take those establishments into account because for example here if we come to the menu now we have more chakra and now we are able to awaken Naruto and if you have seen the other two videos of the beginner's cat uh, you will know you will know that uh, by awakening your ninjas you can increase their power okay so I have Naruto here at level 2 let's awaken him at level 3 and we will see the benefits of doing this okay nice now Naruto is level 3 and let's see who, who else okay Sasuke let's awaken him okay uh, who else who else I think uh, that's it for the moment this is a, a account that I created for these tutorials okay so if you awaken your ninja you will have more abilities if you don't know what are the abilities I will recommend you to, to watch my other two videos of the beginners guide okay so what else the restaurant and the monument I think I already said that we need to wait till the base um, increase their level and yeah so right now you are seeing here the monument that little circle that gives you money so you need to take into account also these squares inside of the monument because you can select shinobis here for example I picked Tamari there I will pick here uh, Kankuro where is Kankuro okay here Kankuro okay and by putting uh, shinobi is there in those squares in the restaurant and in the monument if you have ninjas there they will increase the amount of chakra and money that you can produce over time okay so if you have uh, more ninjas you will be able to produce more chakra and more money but you need to take into account that if you are going to put ninjas there uh, be sure that it's not your main ninja for example if I put Naruto there at level 3 uh, the game will not let me to awaken him at higher levels if you have a ninja in one of the establishments you cannot awaken them if you if you want if you want to awaken your ninjas you need to um, you don't need to have to put them into establishments I don't know if, if that's if that's okay so well, here is an example of my main uh, village that is at the higher level till now, that is level 30. So here you are seeing, for example, the defense log, the attack log, all the missions when my fortress wind uh, won and when my fortress was defeated. Okay, and you can replay, you can actually watch the mission if you click on replay. Okay. So this is how uh, Max Up Village looks like. Uh, all my establishments, as you can see, I have here four ninjas at level six, which I will recommend you because, as you can see, increase my production rate by 240%. So I always have chakra and I always have rios because uh, my monument and my restaurant are always producing a lot, a lot of chakra and money and the same for the shrine and the monument i have the ability to store 17 uh, millions oh, 17 million of chakra and 17 million rio so that's that's a lot okay and that will help you for example if you come here to the summons at the last banner you can spend your money here your rios um, to get enhancement materials so for example i'm gonna spend 200,000 and they will give you they will give you chakra and evolution materials not only that they will also give you hero fragments uh, by sometimes okay so that's one of the important things of the Rio and as you can see there it gives me it gave me 400,000 Rios 
and as you can see I always have chakra and I always have money and no matter how much Rio I spend in the summons I always gonna be able to have uh, more chakra and more money that's one of the benefits when you're in the higher levels because your establishments will always give you chakra and money but this was something that I discovered not so early so that's the reason why I'm doing this video because I think if you know this by the time you are beginning and you are starting to play the game you will have uh, an advantage over time okay and the most important thing is that you can understand that everything is connected everything in the game is connected in order to power up your ninjas to have more chakra to have more evolution materials okay so that was all for this video i hope you enjoy it uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel